welcome to the start of term three and our July daisy chain. And I'm joined today by two celebrities. You must have seen their face on TV already. I'm here with Zoe and Erin, who are part of a new production called The Brain of Steadfed that you are going to see on Channel 10 in the coming weeks. Well, thank you for spending some time with me because you must have busy schedules now, your TV celebs. Oh, getting recognised on the street. So busy. So Don't even busy. know. So busy. <laughs> now, tell me, we've known about this for a little bit of time. Erin, what was the most exciting thing about being part of a TV show and, and something you've never oh, done before? It was honestly just getting to experience the professional side of things. I loved seeing behind the scenes, then seeing how they might want to edit it. I'm so curious to see like how it'll turn out, especially because I saw everything from behind the scenes. So yeah, I'm just so curious. So much that you don't realise. You know, if you're allowed to do retakes, oh, yeah. we're allowed to ever say, oh, excuse me, I actually got that wrong. Could we just quickly Google <laughs> that and retake? Oh, I, I wish we could. They didn't let you do that. No. Mm, it's, all, it's all fairly legit. Um, now tell me, Sean McAuliffe, he's, he's hilarious, but sometimes it's like, are you being funny? Are you serious? Like, how was it working with someone like him? It was really cool to like, like meet him but like sometimes it was like I don't know if he's trying to like have a joke or like what I'm <laughs> supposed to say back to him but it's like it's really cool getting to meet a celebrity and someone who's actually well known in the world yeah absolutely now I think we're getting more screen time than any other school out yeah, there my, my kids are constantly mama mama it's direct mama it's direct mama it's direct <laughs> um, so I am so looking forward to your episode that screens the week after next um, but I'd love to know what was the question or category you were hoping that they wouldn't ask about? So what were you hoping would not come up? To prepare for it, yes. uh, we all kind of went in with a game plan. Ooh, we said, yeah. oh, Zoe, you can look at sports because we know sports the sports time. fanatic. Yeah. I was looking at politics and Anna and Sarah, the other two lovely girls who did it with us, they were looking at languages. Um, but I must say, politics was not something I was hugely interested in, even though I was trying to learn about it. Um, <laughs> So I was really hoping they didn't ask about it. Uh, but but and we can't, we can't no talk about the spoilers. outcomes yet. And um, But tell me, did the sports knowledge get to kick in there at all? So? I must say, not a lot of it did, but it was fine. We figured it out and we got through it. That's right. And who knows where the next game show lies. So the whole Turak College community can get behind these two fabulous young women as well as Sarah and Anna as they appear on The Brain of Stedford Wednesday week. Uh, one more plug from me today for our special edition. It is Student Futures Night tonight, which means our year 9, 10, 11 and 12 students have the opportunity to talk to people from universities, from industry and experts across many fields about what their future may hold. Erin, some advice for our year 9s and 10s. What should they be looking at as they start to think about their future? I think looking, keeping a broad perspective is really important. Never close yourself off to anything. You don't know where your future might lie or a new passion. And looking at real experienced people, their pathways is so interesting. You know, it's said that we're, our generation is going to have multiple careers and probably in multiple fields. So learning about people who've gone through those field changes and their journeys, I think that's really valuable. And where's your first step? Where are you off to after school? I'm hoping to go to RMIT to do design, hopefully to major in architecture, because um, I just love everything to do with design and I've had great teachers here at Turak who supported me doing design, so I really have found my passion there. Oh, they'll all be bragging about you in the staff room with their coffee cups <laughs> one day, I know they will. And what about you, Zoe? What are you off to do? I want to do medicine. I'm not exactly sure where I'm off mm. to yet or what university, but something in the medicine field, maybe radiology or paediatrics. But yeah, I'm really excited for the future. And, and to talk to two year 11s with such visions about where they're going before their year 12 year has already started, uh, we have a jam-packed term three ahead. Uh, I know these two are both very excited about book week that comes up in term three. We also have the year six exhibition and our big biennial concert. Uh, so make sure you are reading those daisy chains every week this term as we introduce all of the fabulous events that will take place at Turak in term three.